This is Callum Murray from Sport Cal. I'm with John Barrow from Populous. Populous are the architects of the Olympic Stadium for the London 2012 Olympics. John, can you give us an update on the latest on the development and uh, the, uh, the construction of the Olympic Stadium, please? Thank you, Callum. Um, well, uh, we've completed the first stage of the stadium, and uh, the stadium is in the process of being handed over to, to LOCOG for the overlay and for the fit-out. Um, I think it's a testament to how to design a very simple piece of architecture to perform a function which is not only to serve the, Olymp the Olympics but also to serve the legacy in whatever form that we could think about when, when we started this process. And, and therein lies a, a huge challenge in creating such a flexible structure for almost any, any type of legacy. I, I'm delighted personally that, that West Ham are taking up that challenge and hopefully uh, we'll be able to advise them in how to modify the existing structure uh, for their own needs. Um, and that will be a process which will involve uh, quite a lot of design, uh, quite a lot of heart searching about where the best place is to spend the money. Um, and they have a limited budget, as you know. Um, and I'd like to think that in the end, everyone can have the best result, that, that West Ham can have an intimate stadium um, that there is a lasting memory of the Olympics in that stadium and I think that's a key feature of their bid was that they offered to cope with the issues of the athletics track versus the football pitch and there are techni technological means of doing that it's, it's a question of you know, how, how much money do you want to throw at it but, but in the end there are solutions for that, that problem as far as the stadium is concerned, um, we believe that it's the way forward for Olympic stadiums in the future, that this is a stadium which is probably half the size of previous Olympic stadiums. It's very compact, it's great for viewing, and in terms of sustainability, it ticks all the boxes because we're using about a tenth of the steel. Uh, it's using the latest technology in terms of fabric, fabric roof, fabric wrap. Um, it's using second-hand steel in places. Um, so I think there's a message in this stadium of how to perhaps approach future Olympics in a much more sensible way than perhaps uh, has been done previously. And I'm very proud to be a part of that. I think that philosophy uh, will extend through the overlay design. The overlay is all of the temporary facilities like beach volleyball in Horse Guards Parade and, and equestrian at Greenwich and so on. We've tried to transfer that same uh, care about sustainability right through the overlay process. Um, and I think that gives us the benefit then of having a, a holistic approach to all of the, all of the look of the, the games in, in London will have this consistency uh, in terms of architecture. And, the, uh, and it's a very simple approach. You know, we, we looked very hard at what we were trying to do in the overlay, for example, and it was actually equating to a very English nature. It was something which was actually very simple by nature. Mm -hmm. uh, it was something like a Wimbledon in terms of character, mm -hmm. strawberries and cream. But it was that sort of feeling of festival and fun we wanted yeah. to convey with a very simple backdrop which didn't overpower the core sport. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it, it was serious but it gave people, spectators, the opportunity to enjoy. So I think that's the message that we're trying to get through all of these facilities. Same applies to the handball arena. Um, it's a very, very simple structure designed not just for the Olympics, but for the long-term community uh, legacy. And uh, I, think, I think it's going to be a great Olympics. Excellent. Thanks very much, John.